Hi everyone. Let me ask you something. Have you ever set up Kafka cluster and then had to set up Jukeeper separately just to get it working? If yes, you probably thought, why do I need this extra thing? Isn't Kafka complex enough already? Well, a great news is Kafka doesn't need Jukeeper anymore. We have K-Raft mode, Kafka modern Jukeeper free architecture. What is K-Raft? KRAF stands for Kafka Raft Metadata Mode. Instead of depending on Jukeeper to manage metadata or cluster state and control election, Kafka now has built in a consensus system based on the Raft protocol. So KRAF means Kafka plus Raft. How Kafka worked before KRAF? Kafka depends on Jukeeper for storing a broker metadata or elect a controller node or maintain cluster health. Kafka talked to Jukeeper for every change, example, topic creation or partition creations or leadership failovers, etc. However, Jukeeper was hard to manage and required tuning and didn't scale well for large clusters and was a single point of complexity. That's where KRAFT comes in. How does KRAFT work? In KRAFT mode, Kafka brokers forms a quorum. One broker become a controller and the other acts as orders. They all use RAP protocol to reach a consensus on changes. So when you create a topic or when a broker fails, the changes is replicated as a log entry and all voters must agree. It's safe and consistent and fully Kafka native. So no Jukeeper or no extra external coordination required. Just Kafka will handle all those. What runs inside KRAFT? In KRAFT, there are two roles a broker can play. A broker role or controller role. Brokers handles the topics, partitions, or you know, producing or consuming messages uh, kind of thing. And controller manage the cl clusters metadata and the decisions. In small clusters, a broker can play both roles. What about safety? The RAFT protocol guarantees only one leader at a time. Strong consistency. That means everyone agree on change. Say failovers, controller is re-elected if it fails. And this is all done using metadata quorum logs inside Kafka. It stores like just like a topic data. Matters. So why should we care? Because KRAFT removes Jukeeper entirely and simplifies the deployment and improves startup time and failover speed. Scales better with larger clusters. It is future of Kafka when Jukeeper will be deprecated. And if you see in Kafka 4.0 plus, KRAF will be the only mode. Start coding. We'll create a three node Kafka cluster using Docker Compose and all runs in KRAF mode. No Jukeeper, just pure Kafka. And we'll see how handler controls the elections and we'll use uh, Docker Compose. I mean, Docker and then uh, CP Kafka image and a custom startup script that formats each node in cup in with a cluster ID. Let's dive in. A Docker Compose file here with three nodes, Kafka 1, Kafka 2, and Kafka 3, all are of same uh, same configuration. Let's see what Kafka 1 is. I'm using the confident uh, CP 7 point, I mean, CP Kafka 7.6.0 image. And I named the container, I mean, the name is uh, Kafka 1. So if you see, I gave the ID as one, the node ID. And roles for this broker, it will have broker role and controller role. And quorum voters, the configuration, who will participate in the voters? You know, one node, this is a node, and this is the host, and this is the ports. Which port it is. So these one, two, three, all these, all these will participate in the election process. So same configuration for Kafka 2 and Kafka 3 as well. Okay, let's start the Docker. Let's run the Docker Compose up. Let's run D. 
So now we are starting three cluster, I mean three nodes, a cluster having three nodes. All are started. Let's give a minute for it. Let's see the status. So it looks like it's not started yet. Up and running. And if you see leader ID is two, that means controller is two. Kafka two, the node two is acting as a controller. So let's kill the controller now. I mean, let's kill the Kafka two. Docker stop Kafka two. So it stopped Kafka two. The node two is stopped. And let's see which one is acting as a controller now. So if you see the leader is automatically changed when when we uh, stop the one node the other node one node from the remaining two is one of one among the remaining two is elected as a leader node that's how wrap handles the leaders elections let's wrap it up in krap mode kafka self manages elections and no zookeeper needed wrap ensures contentious and fault tolerant you just build production like clusters without any third party dependencies thank you for watching